this one. This one. Fair enough. I'm also being cautious, so yeah. That's it. Help me! Damn you, Ali. Thank you. Let's go. Oh yeah, this like happens all the time. What did they want from you? I've oh, no clue. First time I've laid eyes on them. Maybe. Oh, well, recently someone's been trying to question our messengers about the young Count. Hold on. Where's Miss Merigold? You would come alone, Miss. If not for him, that trio would have dragged you in for questioning. The tall one was Valdo Morris. Works for the witch hunters. Aye, you're surely right, Miss. I it, it just weren't what I expected since Lady Bagelbud. Yeah, um. What's this all about? So what's this about? Be straight. Lady Bagelbud's son is the problem. Master Albert's taken an interest in alchemy. Temple Guard's gotten wind. Wouldn't worry about the guard. But since the Mage Hunters tried to grab you, I'd say Albert's in serious trouble. Aye. Lady Vogelbud bought off the Guardsmen. But since the Hunters paid for every Mage revealed to him... Guardsmen took a bribe from the frightened family, and whispered a word to the Hunters anyway. Well, it seems like we've got to get him out of town. Seems Albert needs to disappear as soon as possible. I can arrange that. Think young Vagelbud can slip out of the house unnoticed? Ain't that simple, sadly. Master Albert's in hiding at the Vagelbud's country estate. Lady Ingrid's got the notion she can get him out quietly. Wants to throw a lavish masquerade ball. Am I supposed to attend? Help him escape? I will not manage without you, miss. Lady Vagelbud fears the help's being watched. Well, it could work. It's a good idea. A boisterous bash. That'll distract the hunters. Especially if even half of what I've heard about the Vagelbud's balls is true. Word is, at the last one they served a hundred different desserts, and the fireworks boomed from dusk till dawn. Sounds what with the war and all, my lady's ordained but 85 desserts this time. Oh, the whole! There won't be no candy petals or blue roses from the Zare. The roses have become dreadfully hard to come by. Man, that's oh, some... I'd love to see it all. That's some first world problems right there. Anyway, are uh, we expecting any trouble with this? Expect any trouble during the ball? Hardest part will be to keep Master Albert's departure a secret from his grandmother. Is that necessary? Lady Patricia's a fervent believer of the eternal fire, knows naught about Albert's interests in alchemy. Luckily, the elder Lady Vagelbud's a rare visitor to the country residence. Truly an atypical family. We might have to kill them. Not one. one to judge, sir. I know that's not your job. I'm just saying we might have to kill the grandma. I hope we won't have to stay till the end. You're coming with me? Of course I am. Not about to send you into what could prove to be the lion's den by yourself. Think about it. 85 desserts. While you're still trying to keep your waist at 22 inches. Geralt, please. How do we get to the residence? Your invitation. Take it. Guard at the gate will have instructions for you. You're to wear a fox mask, alright? Good luck to you. And be careful! Well, we can go now. Think we can head there now? You're kidding, right? We have to prepare. Change clothes. Most importantly, buy our masks. I bet you can get everything we need for the ball at Eliel's shop. You know it? Been there before. Eliel's a friend of Dandelion's. Just masks, right? Probably don't need to wear a doublet, do I? A doublet, Geralt. And it's not up for discussion. Take care of that, then come <sighs> see you people are impossible. Something about you stinks of wizardry. Gideon. Mm. And how's my... If I find a smith or something like that that would buy uh, weapons and I should probably uh, 
Greetings. Come to look over my spring collection, perhaps? Glad to take a glance at what you got. Of course, please do. If anything chafes or pinches, I can alter it on the spot at no charge. Oh, that's Once a lot I'm of done, sense. it'll feel like you're wearing nothing at all. Nothing at all. Nothing at all. Nothing at all. Very fine thing that you probably don't have that much use for, well, to be honest. I don't know. Maybe you can make some clothes out of it. Somehow. I've been surprised before. Are you kidding? That random guy dropped a bit of salt than what I had? Well, not that much better. I suppose this one does have some better effects. It's not that, not that much of an upgrade, to be sure. Uh, but it is still better. That could make a difference. So long. This Rangoon had a better sword than this ancient artifact. Games like these can be silly. Oh, I need boots too! Boots! Greetings. Come to look. I realize I need boots. Glad to take a glance at. Of course, please. Do yourself boots, you do. Well, festival slippers, that should do. Guess I might well sell you this now that I'm here. Thank you. So long. And now I also have to put them on, great. I look like a fucking pawns. Make friends with the bathhouse, because what's wafting up here? Oh. I've been at the bathhouse! You know what happened? People tried to kill me! 
So even when I do try to get clean, I get covered in muck and blood and organs. Got my eye on I'm never going to be truly clean. Okay, we have actual work to do. certainly took my request to heart. You mean you weren't being serious? Still got time to change. Don't you dare. You look great. You get everything? And if you get everything, learn everything, everything about else about Albert? Well, almost none of the mages have heard of him. An amateur, I guess. So why the interest? Temple guards first, then hunters? Uh, he's easy prey. And that's exactly why we should help him. I agree. Anyway, I bought masks. Plural. Everything's ready. We can go. A shame events like this are so rare. Without them, I'd never get to see you dressed up. Uh, damn, doublets chafing my armpits. And it feels like they sewed wires into this. I'll be sure to admire your valiant suffering the whole time. This is getting off the fr when we're well, done with this. Shall we go? First thing, once we're done with this, I'm getting this ponzi outfit off. Mind you, I suppose I don't have room to talk. If I could get my ideal outfit, I'd probably already damn Ponzi, but... But I like to dress like, like I do because I want to look like that. Not because some holier than thou person my lord, to. my lady. We're Lady Ingrid Vagelbud's guests. Your invitation, please. All's in order. You'll find Lady Vagelbud in the estate's yard. Look for the parrot mask. I... Uh, one more thing. Uh, leave your swords here, please. Oh, sure. Fine. A pleasant evening to you both. Let's not raise a fuss. I can it's fend for myself without. Here. I haven't been outside the city in How ages. With that scrawny harlot. Well, come now, don't cry. After all, he's not the only man in the world. But he's a baronet. Where will I find another baronet? <laughs> Are you still here? Yes. Unfortunately. Hello, Vivian. No use pretending you don't know me. Is that any way to treat an old mate? Refuse to acknowledge him? There's been a mistake. I don't know you, sir. Don't be foolish, Vivian. I'd recognize that mane anywhere. You might play the great dame now, but before that Baron Edward something pulled you from the gutter, you were a common. Enough. The lady said she doesn't know you. Who's this? The new one? Older than the last, it seems. A decrepit, moss-covered prick. So, the less they can, the more they pay. Is that it? <sighs> it's not worth causing a scene. I want to punch him, but I don't want to cause a scene. Let's just leave this drunken doofus here. Let's go, Triss. Wouldn't want to make a scene. Vivian! Hey! Oh, I liked you much better when you worked the carriages outside the passive flora. Come back! What a jackass. I'm with you. Well, unfortunately for you, we're done with you. Those were the days. Late for supper again. <laughs> I'm a kraken. I'm reminded of the D and D master manual guy who made all those noises. Moritz, what are you doing here? 
Little Miss Miracle. Well, well. And I was led to believe this would be an elegant affair. Yes, I missed you too. But can we put that aside for now? Do you have a way out of Novigrad? You can join us if you want. Trace, focus. Trace, not what we're here for. No, it's exactly why we're here. Well, Moritz? Join you? And just who would I join? Your friends, among others. Once we've all gathered, I'll lead you. You will lead? Forgive me, Marigold, but that is like allowing myself to be led by a lame duck. Farewell. I don't like him. Didn't like that guy. Why'd you insist on talking to him? He's an old friend. His name's Moritz Dyfenthal. Tell you the story later. Okay. Let's just try to focus on oh, ooh, a quest. Let's look around. There's a quest over here. How goes it? Who's winning? No one is yet. Then I shall return later. I was badly sorry. I'm getting old. Gregor, have you seen Durgoff just moments ago? Oh. Apologies, I mistook you for my friend, sir. He wears a similar mask. Yeah, this seems to be a thing. It's okay. No worries. Been to Vizima. The word is, it's more like a pigsty than a capital. Those mm -hmm. were the days. So Stay away. Oh, there. Ah, another challenger. Please join us. Sir Devonan just vacated his place at the table. It's rather unlikely he'll be back. Well, what happened to him? Some good men took him aside to prevent him from hurting himself. So, shall we play? First, you shall face Margrave Vladimir de Cray. The man can afford to lose, so he's likely to be reckless. Sure. Let's do it. Man, that one down there is popping up constantly. Is Ra dying so bad he's getting kicked out of the game? Anyway, let's let's focus. Um. Well, in general, I think I have a pretty good setup. I mean, there's some cards that could be better, but. Uh... something Well, that's a beastly cart.
Okay, let's try a full melee offensive. This is going to be a bit risky. Oh! That's fair enough, I suppose. Well, well, now you must win it back. First, you shall face Margrave Vladimir de Cray. The man can afford to loot. Thank you. Not in the mood. <laughs> 